So a lot of the things that I heard that were shared that we had time to, to listen to um, come up often. And usually general governance is, is, is a big issue. We have this resource, we have this battery, like how do we prioritize one, what's classified as an emergency? If someone comes and says, I have a social emergency, like my emergency shed, which I didn't share with you guys on the, the map is, uh, is um, uh, as oppression. <laughs> so we have individuals who don't, don't have permanent housing, um, literally probably right outside of my window here. So, um, you know, if I presented that as an emergency and someone else is like, oh, my refrigerator is offline. How do we, as a community in these situations, prioritize what's an emergency and what's not an emergency? Um, and these are just questions that I'm going to bring up. Well, I'm not, we're not going to search out solutions right now. In the larger coursework, hopefully at the end, individuals will be able to think about that and then understand that those answers don't lie necessarily in the individual, but more in the communal space. Also, you know, someone says, uh, I want to, I want to use the battery to power my music. It's very important to me. And someone else is like, I want to use my battery to power a CPAP machine. Again, understanding where that, that boundary is. When it's things where it's recreation versus a necessity, I think it's easy for us to put our minds around. When it's something such as a, a social emergency versus a, a physical emergency, I think that's where sometimes we need a little bit more guidance, a little bit more direction, or a little more options, I think is the word that I'm looking for. So we're gonna to try to present options. Um, the governance is important. Uh, governance is, is a very interesting topic because sometimes people can get lost in that and sometimes you can lose people in that, which are two different things. And a lot of people work fine in those that framework. Other individuals do not work fine in that framework. So when you're looking at community and making things accessible, ultimately we all wanna have an accessible community. These are things just to consider. Everyone doesn't look at everything exactly the same. Um, an emergency for one person or another person may not be an emergency, depending on the members of your community. You're not gonna be able to change the members of your community, however, to help and try to assist them the thinking and seeing things in a different light is possible. So the bridge that we're trying to build is the bridge on where you are, where I am, and how we can both meet somewhere in constructing this bridge in the middle. So seeing things in the same light. Crystal? Perfect. Sorry. Thank you for that. The exercise is us as people thinking about how to solve problem. And you can make that as an exercise for you to do with your coworkers, your community groups that you're thinking about potentially sharing this resource with, your neighbors, your friends, your household, just like, hey, let's just pretend that we actually have this shared resources that's called a shared battery. And we found out that there are people out there who need it and they're contacting us. What is some way to get to them? And just brainstorm and just kind of like just experience different way of practicing um, community problem solving together. Um, a big takeaway we really want to, to, for you to think about is what does your community look like? You just experience in that simulation, your community of three to four different people and feel that community, like your community group, maybe talk a little more technical stuff. Maybe your community group talk a little more about how do we prioritize elders? Your community group maybe talk about like the documents and the liability and the risk and how to prevent that. Every single person bring different things to the group. And when you're together, you're this beautiful, unique group. What does that look like? And just always noticing as a homework would love for you to take away just what you learned from your, your group today, what you came up with. And then also think about what does your community look like in your place that you're thinking about creating this backup, this shared emergency battery. For our next week, then, we are going to actually talk about the batteries. But you probably can kind of get a sense that we're putting so much emphasis on the people. And we're going to do that, too. So then when we talk about the technology, we're not getting lost in the technology. We're thinking about how we're actually using the battery as our tool to build this people's infrastructure. So when those power lines are 
filling us, those infrastructure, we can take care of each other. So thank you all so much for being here. Big love for you all and your groups. And think again, what does your community look like?